I found a map, and it looked interesting, and I thought, why not do it? Because, um, it looked kind of neat. It's in Gary's Mod, it's called Silent Hill Condo, and it came with a game mode. So, I haven't done anything like this in a while, and I'm gonna start doing some more games now, too. So, why not? Alright, for intended experience, please use the Silent Hill game mode that comes with this map. This map is not intended for multiplayer and might not function if in the single player section. Yes, yeah, section. Makes sense to me. Uh, he opens doors, items, investigates, examines. The cursor will appear when highlighting an item or area you can interact with. Uh, cursor will appear when highlighting an item or area you can interact with. F to toggle your flashlight, shift to run. Alright, sounds good to me. I could use a little bit of spook. A little bit of spook. Uh, your last letter. I managed to locate the key you requested. The furnishing company was still holding it even after the incidents. The will unlock the front door of the Syndicor apartment unit. Alright, lower this down slightly. Uh, but not the rooms themselves. I'm sure you'll find a way. You've always been a resourceful person. I'm still not sure what you hope to find. Uh, have a pizza. Can't leave yet. I have to investigate what happened. Unless the gate is closed. Well, what gave it away? Huh. Good thing for you guys, I'm absolutely horrible at this. Hmm. Ooh. This is the tenant complaint form for Miss Doris Williams, issue 2002. Room 202, domestic complaint, regular disturbances about shouting throughout the night. Uh, the superintendent was notified. He did nothing. He's discouraged contacting the police. I can't take him anymore. The fuck? So you did nothing? The key for a padlock. And where is this lock? Okay. That's block two. And that's rested shut. Well, hmm. there people here? I don't know. seem like it. I mean, it looks like an old ass... Okay, logically speaking, how the hell would there be people here? Okay. Don't tell Ian. I know he's keeping things quiet, but that bastard should be hung from the rafters for what he's doing to her. If Ian doesn't act, he's gonna do something. I'll keep shove about it for now. But I know the others agree. A pocket of despair for Ian. It's under the house plant. If Ian won't do shit, we'll have to evict the assholes ourselves. Stan. Okay, well, I mean, this is probably a bed or something. I could have sworn everything was installed properly, but I guess if it wants to float, I can't do anything about that. Give three of 
the two written on the top. Uh, no. No, yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, 103, can't get in. Still locked. Still locked. I don't know what I expected. Let's keep going up. Bolted. That's the key for this room. No, it's 303. Let's see. Check for 302, 402, 402. From Jacob. From Miss Hannah? Okay. I don't like that. I heard that. Oh, I don't like that. No. 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 I don't want to go out there. Just gonna grab my dig, eat my ass, call me gay. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, fuck that. Like. Okay, that's a shelf. Ah. Uh. Oh, he's dead. Um, it's not. He knocked on the door. That's an axe. They are alone. Yeah. Well, let's... I have regrets. Oh, it's real. But I hope I didn't miss anything. And hopefully that functioned as a save. William W. Norton, licensed professional counselor, Radcliffe's, whatever. Honorable Judge Matthew, uh, your honor, I am a mental health therapist. I began seeing Jacob Horn in April 2000, several marriage counseling sessions before moving one-on-one -on -one sessions in May. My professional opinion, Jacob, has been offered intermediates. Explosive disorder characterized by the whereabouts of extreme anger, impulse, paranoia, uh, Mr. Horn had a history of drug abuse in the, I can't tell what that says, worsened these issues, but had stated that and not used drugs since 1999. Jacob's relationship with Hannah was turbulent and troubled, though Jacob stated that he believed the relationship was improvement. In my opinion, the relationship was borderline abusive. Jacob had also described himself as reluctant to form a bond with his daughter, Ellis, apparently out of fear she would be just like him, or just like me. Respectfully, Dr. William. Uh-huh, well.
This is how you end up in the other world. Something's yeah. How about we don't? I don't fucking know. You're asking me? So what am I know? I, I don't know. To Jessica, I had to go stay with Tracy again today. Jacob's outbursts are getting worse, and I fear he might be on something again. I already hear your voice telling me to go, but I simply can't. I know you don't care for him, but I know him better than anyone. I know that deep inside that he's a kind, gentle soul I fell in love with. I love you, Jess. Tomorrow I'm going to confess, finally. I'm going to finally confront him. If anything should happen to me, please look after Alice. You'll always be my darling sister, Hannah. Reminds me of the MF Think of Silent Hill 2. What? Okay. Just had to make sure. Why am I going this way? Uh, incident report from the Silent Hill Police Department. A double homicide suicide. Around 10.30 on 8.13, Stanley Gardner, occupant of Sycamore Apartment Unit 104, reported the sounds of an altercation in 302. Reporting officer arrived at the scene with Philip Galvin around 10.50 and entered the apartment unit upon arrival. Sergeant Fuller found the responsive body of Jacob Horn in the lounge room in a sitting position on the sofa and the television covered in blood with evidence of an overdose. Officer Galvin called in for paramedics and assistant from Officer Truman and Kate Holmes. A Sergeant Fuller searched the premises. He found a bloodied axe inside the bathroom where the bodies of Hannah Horn and the building's intendant Ian were found. Mm, Horn discovered an axe with a wound across the stomach fixed down in the water and was unresponsive. Mr. Dyer, Dyer was found with several axe wounds, body slashed in half behind a wood cover behind the dryer and wash unresponsive. Galvin discovered an infant asleep inside the crib in the bedroom. Uh, Truman and Holmes arrived and assisted the coordinating unit of paramedics as Sergeant Fuller and Galvin assembled the building's occupants for questioning. Those present inside were Stanley, who made the initial report, Tracy, and both of them were on 104, Doris in room 202, and Laurel in 203. Earl arrived at the scene, responding calmly from approximately 10... 15. No, that's not 10.15. I'm misreading. See? It's, uh, it's 8.15. Oh, that's just a moth. Yeah, this is in Gary's mod, so. Wow. 
No. No. Fuck that. Don't look back. It wants to eat my face. And I do not deal with face eating things. No, please, 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 please. It's on my ass. It's on my ass. It's on my ass. Please don't close. Please don't close. Please don't close. Holy fuck. Seventy-eight thousand two. Uh, am I back? This place looks different. But yeah, it does. I think I got what I wanted. Was it closure? Was it rare collection? Was it a two for one off a ham sandwich? Look at the key you requested. The refurbishing company was still holding it even after the incidents. It will unlock the front door of the Sycamore apartment unit, but not the rooms themselves. I'm sure you'll find a way. Uh, blah blah blah. The only thing we can do is move on, and for Hannah, is to move on. Love your aunt, Jessica Horn. That's sad, but I'm glad she found what she needed. Thank you for me visiting Silent Hill. Come back soon. There's multiple endings? I don't know if that's the case, but if there is, that's kind of neat. Experience. Until next time.